A Coquitlam man who survived a terrifying bear attack in northern B.C. is telling his story to CTV News. The bear came at him not once, but twice, leaving him with serious injuries. As CTV's Michelle Bernard reports, Gil Graham has a long recovery ahead. I'll never forget the clamping force of the bear's jaw on my thigh. A moment of fear for Gil Graham, who's encountered dozens of bears working in remote areas, but none like this. You're helpless. There's nothing you can do. Just the power of the beast. On May 31st, Graham was working at a small mining exploration camp north of Mackenzie when a startled bear targeted him. Ears back, paws down, looking at me. I'm looking at him. Five feet of space. Graham put his arms up, tried to step away, but the black bear attacked, leaving Graham with significant injuries to his leg. Pushing me to the ground, I'm screaming the top of my lungs. Graham used his metal flashlight to repeatedly hit the bear, still the animal wouldn't retreat. A worker and first aid attendant tried to scare the bear away, but then it went after them. When they rushed to the safety of a trailer, the bear went back for Graham. Of course, his second approach was scary because if he'd gone somewhere else on me, things could have been considerably worse. Co-workers continued their desperate attempts to scare off the bear. My colleague got a, in a pickup truck with the lights on and the horn blaring, and he backed off enough so that my colleague could get the truck between me and the bear. Finally, someone in camp shot and killed the animal, something Graham says was unfortunately necessary. Everybody else was still at risk while they're trying to help me, so that's how it had to turn out. Graham was treated remotely, then flown to hospital in Prince George, where he underwent two surgeries. Underneath the black bandaging is medical equipment that's helping heal his wounds. Everywhere you see the depression where the vacuum's sucking in is, is where there's a puncture. Friends and family have started a fund to cover his expenses as he heals. Graham says any money he doesn't need will be donated to health centers or medical training. After 42 years working in the backcountry, Graham was getting ready to call it a career and says he probably should have retired just a little sooner. Michelle Bernoro, CTV News, Coquitlam.